everyone, welcome back to an academy. This is Deepak Krishna VM, ME Structural Engineering AMI, a verified indicator. So today we are going to see a test which is considered as the most significant and the most important among all the tests of the concrete, the compression test. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of the academy. Also follow us through the other platforms like Facebook, app and the website. So let's see how compressive the loading is. Hello everyone, good to see you, hope you're having a great day. So today we are going to see the compression test for concrete, alright? So as usual, let's have some basic points about this test, so we can crack some viable questions. So first and foremost, what is compressive strength? So it is the ability of the concrete to withstand the compressive loading. So compressive stress is the ability of the concrete to withstand the compressive loading, okay? So any laboratory test should be based on some of the guidelines provided by a recognized institution. So here the guidelines is provided by Indian standards and it is based on the code IS 516-1956. Okay, so this is one of the most important and useful property at the test for the concrete. Okay, so compressive strength is one of the most significant and useful property as well as this test is one of the most significant in the uh, in the, in, uh, uh, significant among the all the tests in the concrete. Why so? So this test is considered as uh, one of the tests that checks the quality of the concrete and also uh, from this test one can judge that whether the mix is made properly or not. Okay, so first, so another one is that uh, for the compression test according to different uh, codes different specimens has been uh, what can when you say recommended okay so according to indian standard the indian standard recommends the cubes okay cube specimen for the compressive strength of the concrete that means test for the compressive strength of the concrete for example if you look the astm american code astm c36 okay uh, so that code uh, what they recommend the uh, cylindrical specimen for the compressive strength of the concrete whereas the indian standard uh, recommends the uh, cubical specimen for the compressive strength of the concrete test. Alright, now let's move on to the test itself. So first and foremost, let's see what are the apparatus required. First and foremost, we need the compression testing machine or the u u uh, universal testing machine, the UTM. Okay, we need to have the cube moles, which is in dimensions of 150 by 150 by 150 mm, tamping rod, measuring cylinder, scoop and trouble, and also electronic weighing balance. Okay, now let's see so before that we'll have a small look at the compression testing machine okay so these are the two types of compression testing machine you can find in the labs so this thing has a loading area and the controlling unit in a separate one but this is more compact as we can see here the controlling unit and the loading area and all the dials over here are integrated in a single unit okay so this is just to show you that there are two types so please don't get intimidated by seeing either of them uh, from in the laboratory okay so this is the knob over here and there's another knob so that uh, you can apply the load and this is the loading area this is the top plate and the base plate of the loading area here this is the loading area top plate base plate here we have the knobs to apply the loads and this knob is this knob is used for the for lowering the top plate and to make in touch with the specimen okay so here we have another knob to do that so that's it for the testing machine. Now let's move on to the actual procedure of the test. Okay, so first and foremost, the first thing one must do is the mixing of the concrete. All right, so first and foremost, select up appropriate mix design or appropriate mix for the concrete, proportion for the concrete. All right, now after that, first and foremost, there's a procedure to mix. Okay, first mix the cement and fine aggregate on a watertight platform that means that on a dry platform uh, mix the cement and concrete mix it thoroughly until it is uniform and also it, it blends and form into a single uniform color okay now add the coarse aggregate and mix it properly until the coarse aggregate is properly distributed in the entire mix now after this the water is added okay that is the designed water is added to it and mix it until we get a homogeneous and a mixture of uh, desired consistency okay so that's it a very simple procedure first of all mix it with the cement and fine aggregate and to that coarse aggregate is added mix it again to get a proper distribution after that the desired water or the designed wa water quantity of water is added to it 
until we get a homogeneous and a mixture of uh, desired consistency okay so that's all for the mixing now let's move on for the sampling of the cube okay foremost we need the cubes okay so to my all my final year students who are going to do the project in concrete please arrange your cube in accordance to your sp number of specimens and in accordance to your test date okay so otherwise there will be a lack of molds in your laboratory because maybe two or three other teams might be do doing the concrete specimen so first and foremost you just arrange the distribution of cube, uh, cube molds among the uh, groups or um, among the teams uh, in accordance to your uh, y -Y -Y your uh, testing dates that means that your uh, testing curing and also the sampling dates okay so we uh, please keep th those in mind and first and foremost clean the cube properly okay clean the mold properly and oil it nicely so while cleaning it please make sure that the all the nuts and bolts are in proper position and there is no voids among the in the cube molds okay so after that clean it very nicely thoroughly and dry it and oil it okay now the now we have the concrete mix with us fill the concrete mix in layer by layer okay so each layer should be 5 cm thick okay so um, by ch okay we have the cube mold now we fill the concrete layer by layer of each layer of 5 cm the thick and also each each layer is compacted a minimum of 35 tampings by using the tamping rod okay uh, otherwise so that means then uh, first layer is kept 35 tampings that which has to be distributed uniformly in the concrete matrix second layer 35 tamping and hence you continue until the entire mold is filled with the concrete okay otherwise if you have the chance of using the vibrators then please go on to it go on with it because you'll get a very consistent uh, what can I say compaction to the concrete mix okay now after that after the compaction clean the top surface okay and also clean the side where excess uh, concrete or excess cement paste is fallen down uh, clean that everything in the side of the mold level the top of the uh, cube okay and uh, with the help of a trowel okay smooth it level it with the help of a trowel all right so that's all we have we have the num uh, take the enough number of cubes for the number of samples you are doing for the experiment and after that but now we have to go for the process called as curing okay so for curing you uh, the your concrete is filled in the mold it is uh, leveled and is uh, finished at the top and it is uh, now the mold is ready okay now these specimens are stored in the cube mold for 24 hours okay so that it will set perfectly inside the mold okay after that now the after 24 hours okay the cube molds are carefully removed and the concrete cube specimens are taken out of the mold okay now these are marked in accordance to the test dates okay that is uh, maybe 7 14 28 days test intervals and then submerge it in it in a water tank okay kept it submerged until your test date okay so make please make sure that the optimum temperature for the water is 27 plus or minus 2 degrees celsius and also uh, every seven days please check the water which you have kept the uh, cube in it because there should not be any fungal uh, fungal growth in it and also there should not be any other exterior disturbances to that water okay so make sure that you check it by each seven days after that now we go for the actual testing of the cubes okay now first and foremost we have to remove the uh, we have to remove the what can we say remove the cube actually and wipe off the excess water okay then remove the cube from the water and wipe off the excess water okay so this procedure has to be done half an hour prior to your experiment or prior to your testings okay so cube has to be removed from the water half an hour before the testing all right so once again you measure the dimension of dimensions of the cube okay just to make sure that you have the all the perfect dimensions of the cube are there and also the, there is no loss of uh, material from the cube okay now after that you keep all the cube uh, outside um, uh, allow it to uh, room dry okay that means that allow allow it to dry to the room temperature okay so during this time you clean the ctm or the utm machine that is compression testing machine or the universal testing machine especially the loading area so the loading area has to be cleaned properly okay there should not be any other uh, particles or any other what can we say aggregate particles from the previous test on that all right now after the cleaning place the specimen in the 
machine okay so there's a uh, there's a particular way for keeping that which we'll, we'll see it right now see that in this photograph you can see the specimen is kept inside the loading area okay this how it is kept it is kept centrally that means it is it should be in the middle of that whole um, both of the loading plates and also it should be kept in such a way that both the load has to be uh, uniformly distributed that means that it should be placed centrally in that loading plane okay that means i see that it's placed centrally in the loading plane and also the both the loading plates are kept in touch and after this the upper plate is lowered by uh, what can we by rot uh, by rotating the knob and it is uh, it is kept in just in touch with the top of the specimen okay as you can see here that the loading plane is just on the top of the specimen it is just kept touched on the top of the specimen okay now uh, now the setup is ready now you just um, ready for the experiment okay now after that apply the load gradually at the rate 140 kg per centimeter square per minute okay it will be on that dial itself you just apply the load gradually okay don't apply the load uh, just like that just apply the load gradually okay now gradually apply the load and observe the concrete all right now observe the concrete until the cracks start to form and once the concrete yields or means that the once the concrete cube completely fails okay note down that load okay so that's the load we have to require that's the load we require for us okay uh, means that in that dial there will be two what can we say two needles okay one black and one red so once the concrete is failed the red needle will keep at a one point and that black needle will come down to zero okay so that reading where the red needle uh, the, the the red needle points is our maximum load okay take that reading okay and also take a minimum of three readings for each specimen or each time period okay so we uh, so you must be very careful about the number of specimens in that aspect also now after this the compressive strength is very simple is just a ratio that is load by area all right so the new uh, the unit will be newton per mm square okay so the load is maximum load that we get uh, we get from the what can we say from the dial and area is the cross sectional area of the specimen that is a 15 cm specimen that means 15 into 15 so we have 2 225 cm square all right so Uh, so why we are so in in the case of normal concrete you will have a small doubt that why we are taking the st uh, strength test at after 28 days okay if you take in the perfect intervals also but why that 28 day test result is very very important okay so from this tabulation we can understand that here we have this gain of strength and here we have the number of days okay so in the first day we have 16 percentage third day we have 40 percentage seventh day we have 65 percentage 14th day 90 percentage and 20th day 99 percentage so which means that after 20 just after that 29 day time period is over only then the concrete will be mature to its pure um, what can we say ultimate strength all right so you can see that there is a rather big shoot up from 65 to 90 in this one week period and from there 90 to 99 so almost uh, we have um, the almost full potential of the concrete this is only in the case for normal concrete not for the special concrete okay So I hope you understand today's lesson. Uh, thank you once again for tuning in. Please comment your suggestions. Please write my presentation. Please recommend and share the slides. And also, this is my profile to the Anacademy platform. You can see the other works that I've done there in the Anacademy platform. So thank you once again for tuning in. I wish you a great day. Until next time, ciao.